Tuesday's first test against 12th ranked Florida, Arkansas was 0-4 against top 25 clubs, owning an RPI ranking that looks more like RIP. To Fayetteville we go. First half, Gators down three, double M. None other, Mike Miller. Miller, Satin, 19 points, cuts the Razorback lead to just one. Then Gator freshman just taking over. Youth rules for Florida. Justin Hamilton. Ham off the glass. Gators up three. Second half, the Frosh still hot. Hamilton knocking the ball loose. Kenyon Weeks will grab it. Back to Hamilton. Gators up by 11. Then freshman, Brett Nelson. Nice bounce pass. Haslam for the jam. Gator freshman 10 and 19 from the field, 25 points, 11 assists they combined for. 80 to 71 the final. Arkansas a disaster from three point range, hitting just 9 of 31. Florida commits 25 turnovers, but still posts its first win ever at Arkansas in five tries. St. John's, BC, Doug Flutie, a legend, of course, in Chestnut Hill. You know why. BC leading by three, Michael Cotton. Off of BC Steel, throws the pass up. Troy Bell finishing with a dunk. Boston College up 13-8. Watch it again. Cotton pulling that Jason Williams with that pass. Bell finished with 27. St. John's up 56-49. Reggie Jesse taking the J. Postel, the board. LeVar putting it back off the glass. Postel with 11 straight points at one point in this game. And then Postel up top. Moving bank. Postel finished with 24. 18 of those 24 coming in the second half in a St. John's victory. Bootsy Thornton chipped in with 16 points to help the Red Storm improve to 9 and 3 in conference. 17 and 6 overall. Eric Barkley finished with just 12 points. Meantime, the New York Daily News reported Tuesday that the NCAA is continuing to probe St. John's in connection with the alleged violations of its rules regarding gifts. Edge of the post, two of his 20. Wake up 15 to 2 early. More wake. Thomas Howard, nice pass, bounce pass to Antoine Scott. Good Nifty line. move there. Wake up 33-15 at the half. More the same in the second half. Scott misses the J. But Howard is there for the follow-up lefty kaboom. He had 12 boards and Wake wins at 71-53. The Wolfpack shoot just 23% from the floor. NC State has now lost nine straight conference games on the road. Now just five and seven in the conference. NC State may already be out of the mix for the NCAA tourney. All this after a 15-4 start. Clemson and Virginia. Clemson's Will Solomon. They have a will, but he didn't have a way. Travis Watson with the block. Donald Hand pushing. Roger Mason, part of a 10-zip run for the Cavaliers. Still in the first half. Virginia again. Hand. Great hand to Adam Hall. Virginia up by 12. And then Hand stops. Pops for two. Hand steals the inbounds pass. It's all over the place for three. Yes, can. Hand, 21 points, six assists. Virginia wins at 76-62. Will Solomon of Clemson leads. Chris Young drawing a second pen defender up top and will hit Ahmed Elno Kali. Pretty pass. One of 341 passes by Princeton in the offensive end. Late second half. Ugana Onyekwe beating the D. 360. There's the final. 55. State Morris Peterson on fire early and throughout. Up and good for three. And there was much mo for mo. Spartans in transition. A.J. Granger to Peterson for another three. That's good. And then moments after that, it's Peterson again. Michigan State up early 23-13. How about Scooney Penn of the Buckeyes? He had to respond with Peterson off to the great start. Penn, the three-pointer. But... They needed some help for him, didn't they? Yeah, uh, Scooney did a great job. Scooney had 30 points, but the problem is he was taking all the shots. At one point, he had 17 points and no assists, and that was in the first half. And that's because no one else could step up and give him the support he needed. Truly a struggle for him tonight. How about Michigan State's great point guard, Mateen Cleaves, also had 17 in the first half. Yeah, Mateen Cleaves did a great job. The rust had worn off since their last play in Columbus. He came out, was very aggressive, very physical with Scooney Penn and the other guards he played. You see right here, he's channeling him away from the basket showing very extremely quick hands right there did a great job got everyone involved offensively the triangle Mopi, Cleves and himself at 71 points
Now, what happens here to the Buckeyes, Brad? What happens with the Buckeyes? You got three men coming back. You got a transition play here. Michigan State is pushing the basketball. No one's around the ball. He goes straight to the front of the rim. That's too easy a shot to give up. You see Coach Jim O'Brien right there getting after the, the officials. But what happened is Ohio State needs to do a better job getting back into transition. There they don't box out. Peterson on the offensive glass, and then Peterson on the break. Ken Johnson, back yourself off. Are you kidding me? Watch it again. Peterson goes right over one of the best shot blockers in the country, and Michigan State wins 83-72. Spartans have now won 25 in a row at home. They avenged their loss to Ohio State. On Back to campus, West Virginia and Villanova. Gary Buchanan likes the view. Buchanan wasn't done. Long distance. And then more. Hot hand was Buchanan, and Nova trailed by four at the break. Second half, more of GB. And then Buchanan again. Smart play. Keep it coming. You know what? The freshman had six of the Wildcats, 12 three-pointers, and Villanova wins by 10. 87-77. A career-high 28 points for Buchanan on 8 for 12. Oklahoma State to tie the Cowboys for first in the conference. Oklahoma State coach Eddie Sutton attributing his team's success to maturity. At least four of his starters are seniors, including Desmond Mason, the best player you never heard of. All he's done is average 25 points in his last four games against ranked opponents. To Austin we go. There is Eddie Sutton. Looking for his first win in Austin since 74. Tough Texas D. Cowboys leading score Desmond Mason. He had 30 the last game against Texas. Gets banged around. Can't get the ball. Mason was ineffective in this game. Only three first half points. Gabe Manecki, anything but ineffective. Manecki with 17 points. Texas up two, and they were up four. Manecki, the steal. And then looking ahead, smart play to Darren Kelly. Uncontested, baby. 14 points for Kelly. Horns up six. Later in the second, Texas on the run. Ivan Wagner can't find it. Chris Owen sure can. There, Texas goes on to win. They shoot 47% from the field against the Big 12's best defense. Chris Mim finishing with 15 points and 16 boards. Desmond Mason just 4 of 13 from the field. The Horns going 7 of 10 from the line in the final four minutes. They out-rebound the Cowboys 39 to 25. Number 21, Kansas hosting 17th ranked Iowa State. Michael Nurse calls for the ball, drains the deep three. Nurse at 15 points, 5 assists. Under five minutes left, Kansas up 6. Jeff Boshi. 0 oh, for 13 until that big three. Jayhawks up nine. Iowa State down six. Marcus Pfizer is so dangerous. See? And he's fouled. ISU down four. Less than two to go. Jamal Tinsley. JT stripping. Chenoweth taking it the distance. What a play this was. 12 points, five assists for Tinsley. We're tied. But Cyclones up two, 10 seconds left, Pfizer. Pfizer likes the view as the shot clock expires. Iowa State up four, Cyclones by two. That was the final. Jamal, they have to come down from that high. Jamal Tinsley, JT, helping the Cyclones to their 19th win in their last 20 games as they take over sole possession of first in the conference. One game ahead of Oklahoma State and Texas. Dreadful night for Jeff Boshi, shooting just two of 17 from of the field. Here we go. Dan Lange had a big night, hitting the three. He had 25 points and 10 boards, but we're about to get fancy. Watch Sam Howard through the legs to Sam Lekwawa. Vandy by one at the half. You can't say Lekwawa enough. That's what I do say. Thank saying. you. Didn't have to spell it. Second half, Chris Porter tips the ball to himself. He had 15 points and eight boards. The Tigers coming back. Tigers shot 50% from the floor as a team in this game, and this is one of the reasons why. High percentage. Auburn goes on to win 86-80. The Commodores do have their first two-game losing streak of the season. Now just one game over 500 in conference play. For Auburn, their first win in the Munich City in 10 years. Commodores with 18 turnovers in this one. Staying in the SEC, Alabama and Kentucky first half. Bama sloppy. Keith Bogans makes the steal, and who needs teammates? He had 10. Cats go up by four. Later in the first half, Desmond Allison makes the steal on another Bama turnover. Tayshawn Prince for two. You bet. Cats scored 16 points off 11 first half Bama turnovers. Second half, Rod Grizzard doing everything in his power to cut an 18 point lead. Inside, outside. That's a three. He had 20. Tied down just six, but the Wildcats up five. Prince, the three, no, but Allison grabs the board. And Prince, you start it, you finish it. He had 14 points. Kentucky wins 66 54. The Cats end their two game slide and move into a second place tie with Florida and the SEC's Eastern Division. Crimson Tide only shot 32% from the field. Kentucky offset missing 21 of 23 threes by only turning it over six times. We're still in the SEC. LSU and Old Miss 
LSU's John Brady didn't have to coach much on this night. He just fixed his socks. First half, Brian Beshera trying to Beshera with the steal and the two-handed throwdown. Beshera with 17. Okay, you saw a two-handed throwdown, and he finished with 17. How about Stromau Swift, Brock, blocking Reem Lockhart, to Lamont Rowland with a one-handed throwdown. He also had 17. You can't make this up. Later in the second half, Stromau proving he has the offense to go with his defense. Double team, split, and baby hook. He had 18, and the LSU pounds Old Miss, 97-53. For the Tigers, they now... Indoor we go. First half, Duke comes out playing great D. Carlos Boozer. Boozer to the hole. Two-handed slam. 17 points for Boozer. Later in the first, more great defense. That's what makes Duke so great. Shane Battier slowing down Devon Arrington. This was for a 10-second violation as Arrington. More D by the Blue Devils. Duke forces another turnover. Jason Williams running the break. There he is, Jay Will. Great ball fake. Hits the lay-in. Duke up 27. 14 first-half turnovers for the Knowles. More Blue Devils second half in transition. Mike Dunn leaving Nate James. Jason Williams, 19 for Williams. Duke wins. I mean, look at that final score, will you? 101-68, Duke beats the Knowles for an 11 straight time. All five starters finished in double figures. A win Saturday at NC State, and the Blue Devils can tie for the ACC regular season title, which would be Duke's record-tying fourth straight. The team that stunned Duke a week ago, Maryland hosting Georgia Tech. Juan Dixon looking strong, but he fumbles it there. No problem. Recovers, burying the three. Later in the first, Dixon. Oh, he's getting a look. 18 points in the first half alone for Dixon. Dixon shares, giving it to T.J. Vines. Drills it. Later in the second half, Dixon. They're giving this guy some space. Doing the job on Aikens and still second half, Dixon. This time, off the screen, buries it. Terps made it look easy, didn't they? Dixon, Dixon finished 12 of 17 from the field. He also had a career best seven. Let's face it, he was feeling it. 20 in the first half. A career high, 33 points in this game for Greer. Then Eton Thomas goes to work. Thomas, one end of the floor with a block. Jason Hart the other way, rewarding Thomas for his efforts. Great finish. Nine assists for Hart. He's second all time on the Syracuse assist list. Meanwhile, Thomas, offensive board. Thomas put back. One of Thomas's 13 rebounds, two of his 21 points. Syracuse pulling away by 20. Eton, another block. Here we go again, feeding it ahead to Jason Hart. Hart around his back, his only hoop of the night it was pretty, so he showed it. Syracuse wins easily. Thomas, though, finished one block shy of a triple-double. His nine blocks matched his career high for a third time. Yet Coach Jimmy Beheim would like Thomas to have some help. Said Coach, we won 19 straight games by getting everybody the ball. We have to have balance. Join the club. Sticking with the Big East, Providence and Miami, Leonard Hamilton's team playing without their leading scorer, Johnny Hemsley. Out with a left foot contusion, John Sammons has some room. Miami led by one of the break. Sammons. He had 11 points, 11 boards, but Providence was coming back. Never count out the Friars. Ron Mould, Augustine, 11 points, 6 boards. Never count out the Friars. They snap a 10-game losing skid. They do it by two points over Miami. Dwayne scores. Dwayne, Dwayne, five of five from three-point land. Later in the first half, Badgers leading at 26-18. Roy Boone passes it out to John Bryant. That's another three. Wisconsin 10 of 10 in the first half from three-point land. Second half, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Boone pulls up, hits another three. Badgers tie an NCAA record 11 consecutive threes. They win 75-59. DePaul Marquette in town to watch it. George Carl, coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. Watch Brian Wordle go to work from long distance. Marquette led by one. Now Wordle in traffic, laying. Brian Wordle nine, DePaul eight at that time. Wordle, Satin, gets all 17 of Marquette's first half points. DePaul by 10, though, at the break. DePaul pulling away. Why? Because they have Q. Quinton Richardson. And then more of the beast. Following up on the Bobby Simmons miss. Richardson, 16 points, 17 boards. DePaul wins by 20. The 35 points scored for Marquette, the fewest allowed in a Conference USA League game. Marquette made just 11 of 55 shots. Louisville, UNC Charlotte, Tony Williams on D. Wonderful. Williams, look up ahead of Marcus Mabin. You know, Trey went to high school with a Mark Mabin. No relation, though. Later in the first, Quinton Bailey. Long bounce pass. Williams, finger roll. 
Louisville goes up by nine. Maven, 19 points. Second half, same score off the turnover. Maven. Styling. Louisville wins, 67-51. The Cougs putting it on UCLA. Houston Thursday night falling behind quickly to Mark Johnson. The fancy reverse layup. Since he off to an eight zip start. Later in the first half, freshman to freshman. Kenny Satterfield, was that a miss or a pass? Doesn't matter. Johnson's there to follow. Cincy, 46 28 at halftime. Second half, Kenyon Martin being Kenyon Martin. Thank you for the follow up dunk. He can leap one of his 17 rebounds. Houston rallying, sort of. Kenny Younger from close range. Clyde Drexler's team. Within seven, but too much Martin. Again, a miss by Pete Michael, but there's Martin underneath. That is a tough angle, but he gets it to go. He finished with 26 points, 16 in the second since he wins at 77. 65, Bearcats 16 conference wins in a row now, eight straight road wins. Since he clinches a share of the Conference USA title, assures themselves of the top seed in the conference tournament. On the other side, Gene Gervin now, 1,025 points in his career. Arizona 10 and 1 in conference play hosting the one USC inside Brian Scalabrini over Lauren Woods he finished with 28 Trojans up fourth the half second half Wildcats on the run Luke Walton passing like the old man to Michael Wright for the easy flush Wright finished with 20 Wildcats up fourth Jeff Trepanier he's an athlete picking up the loose ball and he's going the distance splitting the defenders up and in off the window he finished with 20 trojans down three late second half jason gardner he's no ordinary freshman the scoop de do it's good for you gardner had 19 the wildcats win it 92 to 85 right 20 points 14 boards the wild early second half dayton down 33 32 brooks hall the steal to tony stanley for the finish he had 19 and dayton just like that up a point Later on, Temple down one. Pepe Sanchez, Mark Karcher, has three points and an assist. Temple retakes the lead by a deuce. Dayton, they're not giving up because they're at home. Brooks Hall, thank you, hits one of his team's 11 three-pointers. Dayton takes the 44-43 lead. Lynn Greer, the defense, the steal to the trailing Karcher. You like the secondary break, you like that, you get three points. Karcher had 17. More Temple because we have it. Sanchez finds Quincy Wadley, the three and the foul, a four-point play. He had 17 points. Temple goes up 58-50, wins at 64-58. Wadley scored 11 of the Owls' foul, 13 points. Temple's replacement had eight points. Alana answer right back. Lucas Johnson, you get three points. Alana by five at the half. Second half, and they played it. Ryan Wildenberg inside, puts it on the floor, but still. Oh, he's a smooth big man there. Gophers within five. The Alana answering again, and it's Lucas Johnson again. Three points again. He would finish with 18. And at the end of the game, Lon Kruger roasting his players, presumably because, well, they only won by nine. And I, I don't know, 89-80. Alana sweep the season series for the first time since 91. Prisbilla, the Gophers' leading rebounder. Dusty Reichart fills both roles on Thursday, 20 and 8. Munson's comment on the suspension, quote, it's not what you want to do, but that doesn't mean you don't do it. Arizona State UCLA, would this be the Sun Devils year? Finally. Maybe if Eddie House has something to say about it, and Eddie always got something to say. Coming off the hinges in the first half, he was 3 of 5 from deep. Sun Devils lead by 13. Still in the first. Too much house to handle. Hey, if you get tired of watching him, go ahead and guard him. He had 22 in the first 20 minutes. 51-37 Sun Devils, second half, they're up by 19. House all the way, a couple of more. His team wins a 104-75. He had 15 of 22 field goals, seven of Hands full, Tony Hurd here misses the three, but Brandon Kurtz will not Kurtz. Tulsa within one. Later in the half, Tulsa up three. Why is Troy Osler with the big offensive rebound. Got to get him in television highlights. Tulsa clinging to a two-point halftime lead. Second half, Tulsa pulling away. Greg Harrington with a three. Tulsa leads by seven, and then they turn up the defense. Marcus Hill, give me that. Forces the turnover. Eric Coley, I say, would you like to be on sports? Tulsa up nine, and they go on to win big. The final 75-61. David Shelton, a game-high 19 for the Nova by one, looking for more. Brian Lynch to Brooks Sales. He says, I'm more than Nikisha's brother. Gats by three. Still in the first tie game. Hawks. A chance to take the lead. They take the lead. Damian Reed for two. 
Second half, cats down one, but playing some D. Defense is nothing but effort, and effort is the key to success. Aaron Matthews, the loose ball, all the way for the flush. Cats by one. More kitties. Brian Lynch to Gary Buchanan. How about the freshman? He is Sam Jones. He had 24 cats win at 68-61. Performers in a losing effort Thursday went to Fresno State's Larry Abney. Larry Abney, 35 rebounds in one game. He's Jerome Lane, Charles Barkley, Jerry Lucas, Artis Gilmore, and Tim Duncan all wrapped up in one. Oh, by the way, as an added bonus, he also chipped in 20 points. But none of this was enough as Fresno State lost to SMU 85-75. By the way, as a team.